today is a new day. You open your doors and greet a seemingly endless stream of patients who are all picking up their prescriptions. You feel on top of the world. They're all satisfied patients at your pharmacy. But is this assessment telling the whole story? Are all of the patients receiving the optimal care for their situation? To make the story more clear, let's explore measuring populations of patients. I'm Mark Conklin with Pharmacy Quality Solutions. One patient can't tell us the whole story, so to see if we're really doing as well as we think we are, we need to examine the entire population. Today we'll be discussing how population adherence is calculated. Let me introduce you to Tyra. She picks up her diabetes medication on time, every time. Her adherence score is 100%. Tyra is one of 16 individuals in our sample population all taking the same class of diabetes medication. To see if our population as a whole is doing as well as Tyra, we need to crunch some numbers. Each person in our sample comes with their own independent adherence score. This individual score is based on the proportion of days covered method of measuring adherence. A patient must have at least 80% of their days covered to get the green light. This is the accepted threshold based on scientific evidence that links medication adherence to improved clinical outcomes. Below 80% means the patient is not taking their medication as prescribed. In this sample, we find four patients that are non-adherent. 12 of them are. Adherent patients divided by the total sample size equals a 75% population adherence score, which means we have work to do. Today, non-adherent patients matter more than ever to a pharmacy's success, both clinically and financially. But how do we increase our sample score? First, you identify the four individuals that are not adherent. You look at each individual adherence score, 62%, 48%, 70%, and 75%. You recognize that even with just one more fill, Betty, Patricia, and Marcus would still not be high enough to meet the 80% threshold to be included in the numerator. But if you could get Isaiah to get just one more fill, the medication adherence percentage for this population would go up you contact Isaiah and encourage him to pick up his medication. He, in turn, does just that. You report it to the plan by submitting a claim, and now Isaiah officially crosses the 80% individual adherence threshold and becomes part of the numerator. 13 divided by 16 equals an 81% medication adherence score for the sample population. Each patient you impact helps move you and your pharmacy forward, and you help the patient become healthier as they get the right medication at the right time. You worked smarter, not harder, and created a strategy to better serve your patients. In our next video, we'll take a deep dive into where you can find this information and equip. Until next time, I'm Mark Conklin with Pharmacy Quality Solutions.